All right. E then. How am I doing this? I'm still learning all of this. There we go. There's my face. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kickassery. This guy right here is Dale Maxwell. And what is Kickassery? Kickassery is just who kicks ass in my life or who has influenced me in my direct life or indirectly. Um, I've had the opportunity to talk to some people in my life that have just made such an insane impact. And here's what I've learned is by going through this process, I really recognize that I have some incredible, incredible people in my life, like insanely incredible in my life. And now I get the chance to do this and talk to them and share who they are and just expand, expand, expand. Who do I have on today? Today, I have RJ Redden on. Uh, RJ and I go way back. We go all the way back to, I think, two weeks ago-ish. And she has got this really, really, really cool project that um, I'm going to let her explain a little bit. But she's helped me out a ton. And what she's doing, they're called bots. And they're taking over the world. So I'm going to let RJ do the her introduction. I'm going to let her talk a little bit more. And then I'm going to jump on here in just a second. And I don't know why, guys. I'm going to premise this right now. We're having some internet issues today. Um, I think they're mostly on my side. So you're going to get the herky-jerky thing. But as long as we get the, the info across. So RJ, good morning. Who are you? What do you do? Good morning, Dale. Uh, my name is RJ Redden. I run Black Belt Bots, uh, basically because I like I like ninjas, and I do Facebook Messenger marketing. Uh, it's something I discovered early last summer, I believe. Uh, I saw I had a friend who was in a group, and it was about bots, and I was like, oh, I've heard this word. I should investigate. I'm a technology nerd from way back. Uh, there's, I mean, probably a pocket protector on its way in the mail to me somewhere right now. I've, I've always been a huge technology nerd and I've been coaching people on technology type, uh, issues for many years, building websites, doing marketing campaigns, that kind of a thing. But when I discovered bots, uh, chat bots, I to decide to change my business over to chatbots only because they were so fascinating, so exciting, and I think gonna I I, I think gonna really change the way that we do marketing. And I, I'm so excited about them. I can barely get all the words out at once. <laughs> okay, so I I ran across you um man, it was only a couple weeks ago. And it was there's a there's a great program that that you've been a part of and, and a friend of yours uh it be live is it be live at five is that correct yeah be li live in five yeah live in five that's right and so the the format that we're on right now is called be live.tv and that's the back end format that i that i'm using to do all this and i just moved my camera so i've got to get there we go. Um, and so I, I follow a, a great little, it's not little, it's huge. And they they had this way of communicating with me it, it, via Messenger, Facebook Messenger. I was like, oh, holy smokes, I can I can click on this button and, and it'll bring me in live to their show and it'll do this and that and this and that. I'm like, so I, I, I direct messaged them and I said, how do you do this? And the gal said, Go talk to RJ. <laughs> She's like, go talk to RJ. RJ's got this really, really cool program. And within 10 seconds, I was over checking you out and you responded super quick. And thank you so much for responding to me. So for so that I don't sound like a complete crazy man, what is a bot? Give us the the lowdown, the quick and dirty of what a bot is. So then that way we don't think, oh, it's one of those hack programs that is going to try to elicit, you know, you know, the voodoo out of us. Oh, exactly. So I can explain it to you in three words. A bot is a conversation on steroids. 
Um, it is uh, surprisingly, amazingly, it's old school. It's taken us back to having conversations with the people that, it, having conversations with people, you know, deciding if this is somebody that we want maybe closer in our circle. Uh, and, you know, and it's a conversation on your end too. You get to decide, do I want to hear more from this person? It is a really simple way of just talking to people through Facebook Messenger, not on a personal profile, but on your business page. Talking to people through Facebook Messenger, figuring out if this person somebody I want closer in my circle, is this somebody I could do business with, collaborate with, do a show with? Um, it's 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 the, it's very much that. It's simply a conversation, and you can have you can have these bot conversations ten at a time, twenty at a time. The point of it for me is to figure out who I want, uh, who I want to be my people, invite them a little bit closer to me, and then take that conversation from Facebook Messenger and have a one on one, which I think you and I did within two days or something. Yeah. It was like, oh, I, I, because I, I checked you out, I stalked you online, you know. Uh, I always wanted one of those. Yes. Um, and uh, and I thought to myself, this guy is doing something special and important and I need to know him immediately. And uh, and so we we got online. And I think the first thing I said was, uh, by the way, uh, uh, FYI, I, I love what you do. Uh, because it was already like, you know, I, I kind of had made a personal connection with your stuff. To me, that is the point of these these messenger conversations between businesses and people. Taking that connection that you make initially and then taking that offline, um, meeting people, talking to them, figuring out, you know, what are what are some places we could collaborate together and take over the world, which I mean, it's imminent. Absolutely. Well, okay. So here's why, here's why I, I was drawn into it because I was like, holy, once, once I realized what it was, cause I had heard about bots months ago, months ago. And I was like, ah, crap. Here's another way for people to, to hack the system or to, you know, try to, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but then once I really realized it, you and I had this conversation. I was like, okay, I know that we're talking business. We're talking very specifically for business at the moment. I know email campaigning is very important. I know the whys. I know the hows. I know the, 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 the parts and the pieces that go into creating an email list in a campaign and how to work the list. But I suck at it because I have no drive to do it. I, I, for whatever reason, for one, I don't like getting spammy emails. For, right. for two, I don't don't want to be that guy. Right. But I also understand that that is imperative to a lot of business models. And there's a couple businesses that I have that that email list is like the bread and butter, but I suck at it. I, I'm not motivated to do it. Let me rephrase that. I'm not motivated to do it. Yeah. Whereas these messenger bots, I was like, Oh man, it just, it, it's the same base philosophy of creating a list and creating this in um, this community, you know, but it seems to me like it's flipped it, it. It's just flipped it on its head and the interaction of, let me explain to people my, my perception of it. And then RJ, you clear, clarify it and, you know, say, no, Dale, you're wrong. <laughs> is that, okay. So what's really cool about messenger bots is that I can, create a message and I can, you know, I, I, right now, I think one of my, my tests that I have, I have nine people on it, right. That have opted in. And, and here's the other part of this. That's very, very important is that you can't just send this out to your, to your, to whoever likes your business page. They have to physically opt in. It not like your email where you can copy a bunch of stuff in there and say, yeah, they opted in. Sure. Right. Yeah. You know, it doesn't work that way. So right now I have nine people. I can send out a broadcast or send out a message that says, hey, uh, we'll use this for example. I send out a message 15 minutes prior to the show that said, hey, um, we've got a, the show coming up in 15 minutes. Here's, here's who we're talking to, RJ. Um, if you want to watch the show live, click this button. You click the button and it takes you 
directly to this show. It gives you the link and it, and it literally takes you right to the show. There's another button that says, want to know more about RJ? Click that. And then I have like a little resume, a little, a little outline of who RJ is. For me, and I know you don't like the word automated, RJ, and, and I appreciate that because this isn't automated, but the auto, the automatic responding or the ability to put in a couple a couple layers of communication where I'm not having to physically touch it for yeah. me to send out that information, that is genius to me. Yeah. Genius. And there's, that, I mean, there's so much more to this than just that. That's a very, very small, very small example. Well, and it's that, that high touch experience. You're bringing a high touch experience to people. You set it, you know, you set up uh, the way that a bot works and the word automated is okay, but I, I want people to understand where the automation comes in. The automation isn't, uh, that you're going to set it and forget it. The mm. days of set it and forget it marketing, please let them be over. Be over. Uh, please, because nobody likes being spammed. Nobody likes somebody being in your face who doesn't care about you and completely only wants to make a sale. Have you ever gone to a convention or a party or something like that deal where somebody is meeting you and they're shaking your hand, but they're scanning the room for who they're going to meet next? Yep. That is set it and forget it marketing. Let's yep. just have that be over. <laughs> the automated part of bots is messages will be delivered automatically. The non-automated human part of this is you put your personality into right. that message. You write the message. The message is you putting your best foot forward. And uh, you're able to, you know, I'm able to read those conversations. If I'm having a conversation with somebody and they have a question, I can pop in live on that and answer that question and talk to that person and have a real conversation. So it's important for, for me to, to let people know, A, this is real badly named. Bot, it's a bad name, yeah. guys. Uh, just like, you know, like 10 years ago when we were all like, oh, the cloud. The cloud is a great place to store things. Yeah, technical people named that because normal people looked at me and said, what? It's just in the air? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a terrible name. Uh, bots are an absolutely terrible name. To me, it's conversation marketing. Right. It's let's go old school for a second. Let's talk to each other, figure out who we are. Let's be human. Um, and let's uh, let's figure out, you know, where everything is and see if there might be some possibilities for us. Or maybe this is just a nice meeting and we're going to go down our, the road our separate ways. That's totally fine. When you have this stuff served up in the background, you can have many, many conversations at once distill down to these are some folks I really want to talk to and then spend your time connecting with people that you really have something in common with. It's like, and I tell people this all the time, it's like skipping to the fifth date. The good stuff's already going on. You know what I mean? That's awesome. All right, everybody. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. Here's now where uh, you have to do a little bit of work. Um, I'm, we're looking for questions from you as well. Even if you're like, what the hell? I still don't get this. Type in a message. I'll throw it up and RJ can respond to it. Also, please share this out. Please share this out because I feel that um, this is a this is a product or a, or a program that's going to we're already seeing it, you know, and the other part of this also, RJ, is that, you know, Facebook Messenger is actually actively mar uh, uh, selling advertising now in Messenger as well. So this isn't going in going away. Facebook is putting a ton of resources behind this. This is not a flash in the pan. You said it the other day on one of your shows. Zucks, it doesn't put money into something or time into something that is not going to be around for a while. Right. It's just the way it is, you know. So throw up some comments, share, type in that you shared it because every comment and every share that you write for us helps this channel grow, helps this get a little bit more traction. And uh, we're here to, to grow. So let me ask you this. Um, yeah. I think we've established that Facebook's not going anywhere. Messenger's not going anywhere. 
So this, we could just put that away, you know, but. Well, and in fact, let me add here that social media marketing world happened about a week ago and that the messenger bots are where the keynote uh, and the, the uh, continual message you, you, that people need to get on these things. There are, are about 1.8 billion people on messenger. There are about 200,000 active uh, chat bots working out there. That is a huge place to grow. So uh, yeah, a lot of the top people in social media are, are talking about bots right now too. So now, what automatically jumps into my mind is I try to be an optimist. I try to be positive in almost everything that I do. But when it comes to technology and social media, I do have a bit of a skepticism thing that comes in is that, yes, the growth opportunity here is incredible and we have a lot of opportunity. But that pendulum swings as well is that everybody let's talk about live video, what we're doing right now, live streaming, everybody and their cousin's dog jumped on when it first became available it was the coolest thing since sliced cheese for about that long and then everyone get went oh my lord just make it stop just just yep. make make it stop you know because we were inundated and i think for live that's that pendulum is still swinging to towards that saturation point where people are on here just doing the most random stupid things because they can't because yep. the platform's there do you see that happening with the bots as well? Or is there enough, is the learning curve or, I mean, is there enough, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Um, is there a way, is there an inherent part of this that's going to prevent that everybody and their dang dog going to do it? And we're just going to get a flood of crap. There, there is, there are ways to prevent that. Now, do I think that, you know, right now, people are like, bots, what? I mean, like, hardly anybody has even heard of this thing at this moment. Even people who are like seasoned people are first hearing about bots right now. So, of course, there's a wave coming, babies. Yeah. Uh, let's let's be honest about that, of course. Uh, there's a wave coming. Uh, people will probably be exposed to these on a more regular basis. But... Here's the second part of the answer to that question. Facebook, when they started pushing live out to people, it was pushed on you. Yeah. It was, you know, like I would read people discussing in forums, how do I shut those off in my feed? It was like, do you remember when you got a thousand invitations a day to play Mafia Wars? Yep. And then... Facebook was like, uh, because people hated it so much. People, were, you could find a way to turn off all. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna defriend you if you if you ask me to play more than five games online instead of work. I'm gonna defriend you, dude. Make uh, you make it stop. So you know when for games for live, Facebook really really push that as something that you will see first and something you'll always get notified. Now. That has gone down. That mm -hmm. has gone, you know, my notifications that people are live, all of that stuff. I get them for the people that I want now. Yeah. I get to make a choice. So with Facebook Messenger marketing, you get to make a choice. And that's why I think it's not going to be terrible. Yeah, then, you have to opt in. It's not something that you could just flood your thousands of friends just because. Oh, you, you can't. You have to opt in. And here's the thing. There are about seven ways to opt out. Um, there are many ways to opt out. And Facebook also has, you know, kind of a reporting system. If your bot gets enough bad reports, they can yank your account. Nice. Um, so it is, it behooves us as people who are creating bots to put options in there for people to remind them they can stop getting these messages at any time. And that is a big difference between yeah. email and bots too. email. The more the merrier, the more people you have on that list. That's exactly what you're supposed to be going for bots. Not at all. I would much rather have a smaller crowd who is closely involved with me and interested in what I do than thousands and thousands of people who would rather not hear from me. You know, and a couple things on that, RJ, is that, you know, I'm seeing 
I'm I'm in one of the communities that is is really talking about bots a lot, and I'm seeing some of the the stuff coming around. Yeah, got fifty thousand new subscribers to this bot, and you know, and and we're we're at you know two hundred fifty thousand subscribers, and I'm like, those are I, I'm afraid. In in I'm not in the industry like you are, so so correct me on this, but I'm afraid that those are going to be the rotten apples that that spoil the bushel. You know, because they're out just driving the numbers instead of trying to make this a worthwhile thing. But I do like the fact that Facebook can jerk you if you're being a jerk about it. Right now, if you treat it like a Groupon. If you spam people every day, if you only if you treat it like, OK, this is just a Facebook page, but announce, announce, announce. People are gonna get go away because they don't yeah. they don't care to be involved in something that's not involving them. Yeah. People who just get people in the bot and then show their open rates and then go buy my services, buy my services, they're gonna write you a certain kind of bot, but it ain't gonna be a conversation that you can take offline. It is yeah. not gonna be a real connection with people. And that's that's the thing. We're gonna go through a weird period for a minute. Yeah, you and know. we're going to, as marketers, as business professionals, as entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, we're going to have to switch, you know, because yep. especially if we are a traditional email marketer, we're going to have to make that switch. We're going to have to change our, our direction. And, you know, numbers are numbers, you know, ABCs of sales, you know, I, I get that, you know, but you touched on something. And then Andy Smith has a question I want to jump on here in just a second. You touched on something going back to the live video, you know. At the beginning of Facebook's live video, Facebook was jamming it down our throat because they were in an open competition with YouTube. You know, Facebook was, you know, they stopped giving YouTube videos their their dues and, and you know, and so then Facebook brought out their live platform and they're like, hey, this is all about us. And it's interesting to see how that cycle works. You know, YouTube will just jam a bunch of or not YouTube, sorry, Facebook will jam a bunch of stuff down your throat until they get enough people squawking about it. And then like, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> and this is what I love about it. We're going to be the responsible person. We're going to change our algorithms and our protocols so that we're taking care of you. And I'm like, but you were the one that was doing it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so Andy's got a great point here. Um, uh, he's old school. You know, I have a difficult time wrapping my head around all of this type of thing. I'm a face to face. I don't know how to involve myself in the current techno world. And uh, Andy and I go way back. And he, he is an old school guy. He's a he's a realtor in in his community, and he specifically works with um, ranches and farms and, and large real estate contracts like that. So how could he, in a very niche market, being as technology adv as, as advanced as my pen, uh, <laughs> love you, Andy. Um, how how could this benefit him? And how easy would it be for would it be for someone who's like, eh? So for the people who are as technologically advanced as the pen, the question there are two questions I have for them. One is, wh who's your audience? Would your audience respond? Now, um, here's the here's the stats on, uh, and they're very quick stats, please. Uh, I'm not a stats person, but uh, the very quick stats are people who are 45 plus spend about half their time in their email box, inbox, and about half their time on messenger apps. Everybody under there spends most of their time on messaging apps. If your target market is 45 plus, I don't know that bots are a hugely great investment for you. Um, just because that's not where your, that's not where your eyeballs are. It's not where people are looking to receive that information. They might be looking in their email. So first, that's, that's a really good question to consider. It, where's your audience? Uh, and that's always the first thing to consider. Second thing to consider, if you are a person who gets a lot 
out of sitting down and having a conversation with someone, if you're able to tell in that conversation, if this person is a good fit for you and what you have, your product, your service and your personality, if you can, if you really get a lot out of that conversational marketing stuff, then consider if you could have more than one conversation at once, if that would bring something to your business, come investigate about bots. Um, come investigate because it's really just having a conversation at scale with a lot of folks all at once and then picking out those conversations that are ripe for a relationship of some kind. Is marketing about closing a sale or is it about opening a relationship? That's, you know, that's the big question. Marketing has been, and I hope, I hope I was able to answer for Andy, you know, what, what's going to be, you know, helpful for him. The, you know, is it about opening, you know, opening a relationship or closing a sale? Marketing has been, and this is my favorite thing about bots. Are you ready? My favorite things about bots is this. Marketing has been a numbers game for a very, very long time. It's about beating an algorithm. It's about how loud can you shout to get more people into your circle so that you can filter those people out. You know, it's been a numbers game. The more you put out, the more you'll get back, basically. And that's why people go, I've got 80,000 people on my email list. Okay. How many of them have you communicated with lately? Um, bots are turning that game on its head and saying it's about, it's not about quantity, it's about quality of relationship. It is about the people that have been in my chat bots uh, that are subscribed to my chat bot. There are a lot of them that have been there for a very long time. Uh, they receive my messages. They receive, you know, hey, I got a new challenge coming out. Hey, I've got a new live stream coming out. All that kind of stuff, right? They've been in there for a long time and they keep getting value out of being there. So those are people I have a really great relationship with. It's closer than the relationship on anything else because I can answer questions real time. Uh, I can be involved with them real time. If you've got a question, Dale, on your bot, you all you you know all you need to do is hit the summon RJ button, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be there for you. Um, that's how important this is to me. And so, taking fake marketing, taking me marketing, make myself sound like this other person who has eighty thousand people on their list. Maybe I'll be successful. You and I don't have to go down that road anymore. The more personal we are, the more of our personality is infused into our chatbot, the more successful and the more genuine conversations we're going to have, the more successful we're going to be. That's exciting to me about bots. And I, I'm, I, I mean, again, so excited. I turned my whole business over to him within two weeks. <laughs> okay, I got. I have two things. One of which, going back to Andy, and Andy has another response that I'll put on here in just a moment. Uh, going back to Andy, though, is that you also not too long ago talked about putting the chat bot as a customer service response tool on a website. Yeah. So it's not just Facebook. It's not just social media is that if we're driving, and correct me if I'm wrong, if we're driving traffic to our website, instead of utilizing email back and forth, you can utilize the chat bot and for lack of a better term, animate a little bit of the back and forth, the Q and A's, you know, get a little bit of the basic information back and forth between, and we'll use Andy as the example, you know, um, you know, here's what I do here. You know, here's a little bit more intimate information. What do you want to know? La, 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 la. And I love that. So that, in my view, might be a little bit of the connection between the generations, maybe, yeah. and utilizing newer technology for more older school online marketing. So, and Andy, I'll, I'll throw this up here. He, he really res respected your response. And I agree with him that there's a lot of this 
Thank you, Andy. There You're you so go. Good to me. That's beautiful. <laughs> Andy's good peeps. I'm t- telling you, he's 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 my boy. He's he's my mentor, and, and uh, he's taught me a lot. Now, I do want to touch on something real quick, and we're already at a half an hour. This is insane. Um, I do want to touch on something because, all right, so going back to marketing, it used to be seven touches. You know, when it came to traditional marketing, you know, between print and television and radio and billboards and magazines and things like that, it was seven touches going from obscurity to top of mind. You know, it was a seven touch process, right? And so meaning that for those of us, it, it took us seven times seeing a logo, seeing a or hearing a jingle or something for it to register and going from background noise to top of mind awareness. Now it's 21 plus touches because of social media and we're plugged in 24 hours a day. So it takes over 21 touches depending on the market and, you know, where those touches are. So do you see then, or or do you hope then that this kind of marketing is going to take us back towards that fewer touches and slow the process down and, and help with filtering out the background noise. Is that kind of. That certainly is my hope because those 21 touches that you're talking about, that's coming at you in a very passive. Well, right. It's coming at you at a wave and you're a passive person standing in that wave and gleaning what you can about everything streaming past you all the time. Okay. So with the nature of messenger marketing, it's not that I can put out a message to everybody that subscribe and they all get the message, every single message all the time. I find out what my crowd is interested in. So for instance, I have a live stream show, uh, one o'clock central, uh, Tuesday, Thursday on my page. Not everybody is interested in the live stream. I can ask people if they'd like to hear about it when I go online. Um, and then they subscribe to that. And I just tell those people when I'm online, I have people who are interested in my classes. I have people who are interested in different parts of my business. And so I can segment who hears about that stuff. You get to opt in to everything that you are hearing about. And there's also that open channel of communication. Seriously, you hit some on RJ. I will be there as soon as I can to answer questions and to, to see if we can make a connection to see if I can create some understanding about bots because that's of course my business. But if you put yourself in my shoes, you know, if you were able to have an opportunity to have people understand a little bit more about what kickassery is about, that's exactly what you want to do, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to spend your time creating these 21 passive blinking neon light advertisements. You'd much rather craft something that is special and that really communicates who you are and what your services are and what your products are, and then giving that to people that are interested. It's really, it, it turns the, the normal model on its head. And I do, uh, I, I want to go back to, let's, let's have a few more meaningful connections, and then let's decide from there. Let's not increase the wave because people are starving for a genuine human connection nowadays. Yes. Starbucks ain't just selling coffee. If they were, it'd be a lot cheaper. Starbucks sells a social environment. Starbucks is giving you those people at the counter who are so vastly interested in your day. That is that that little simple human connection it, that makes you smile is exactly I call it the Disneyland experience a lot when I'm teaching about bots. You want to create that experience where from the first moment that they're connected with you, that they feel your humanity and that they feel your genuineness. And in reaching out to them, some people won't be attracted. Some people aren't attracted to my sense of humor. The fact that I've got purple and green hair. I mean, some people aren't attracted. That's totally fine. They bounce. And then I get to focus on the people who really respond to my way of thinking, talking, acting, that kind of thing. Right. Right. Awesome. 
and we could go on for another two hours. And yes, I, and I, we I, have. <laughs> so a uh, couple things real quick is um, you have a giveaway that you've been very gracious to to give to our audience. And I truly, truly appreciate that. So what is it that what is it that, that you're you're giving to us? Well, a, a free half hour with me. Uh, I would I would love to if you've got some questions about bots. I would love to get online, uh, talk to you, do a face to face video like we're doing right here and talk to you about your questions. See if that's something that's right for you and your crowd. See, you know, talk about possibilities. You know, this is not something that uh, that you know, we uh, need to do business right away in order for that to be worth it to me. I want to spread the message about boss. I want to educate people so that when people say this word, then you know exactly what they're talking about. Because again, that word bots is very misleading. So, uh, so if you will, if you, if you want to get a half hour with me, uh, one-on-one -on -one attention, I'll answer whatever you want to, to be answered about bots. Uh, go to checkoutmybot.com. Uh, it's, uh, it's how people get in and, uh, check out my and, uh, it will take you directly into my bot. Um, and then, uh, I will, I will get a hold of you from there. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, I will, I will get a hold of you and give you, give you a link to my calendar. You can book a book, some of my free time and we will, we will talk. It's, it's a half hour and you can learn everything that you need to know while without feeling like you have to get into anything over your head. Because honestly, there are people that I have said to, to them, bots are not going to be your thing right now, you know, or, you know, and if you want to get into bots for free, let me tell you, you can do that. You don't need to pay me or anyone else. You can uh, go to manychat.com right now. That's the program that I use. Yeah. Very good, Dale. Thank you so much. You can go to ManyChat right now. You can sign up for a free account. It is free forever. And you can start working with that stuff right now. Now, I will give you one warning about ManyChat. When you go to ManyChat, skip their onboarding process. I had, I've had several people go through it. Uh, in the onboarding process, and I've gotten a lot of complaints. It's a, their tour is confusing. Go ahead and skip that bad boy. Yeah. Uh, do the skip the onboarding and uh, and then just go into it. Start messing around. If you're technologically minded, you'll start to kind of get what's going on there. If you get stuck, you can always come into come into the bot, ask me, or uh, I also have a community, free community on Facebook. Uh, it is the Black Belt Bots community. It's very it's very so creative. It's Facebook Black Belt bots right the facebook black belt bots community is the facebook group oh, and the facebook page is black belt bots okay all right cool um and okay so guys real quick i want to touch on on rj's 30 minute talk she is freaking phenomenal um you know i had to i have to admit rj that you know there's a lot of consultants and coaches that are like yeah 30 minute free talk and it's basically a pitch session on why we should be spending a bunch of money with them. And I don't, I don't begrudge that, but it's not, you know, it's not usually what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some very, very simple things. And you came out and you're like, Dale, and you started writing notes. You're like, what do you want to do? Where are you doing this? What, what's this all about? You know? And I started talking, you're like, Oh, awesome. Well then go right into mini chat. And we sat there right there. We, we shared a, we did a um, screen share right at that moment. And you're like, Oh, we'll click on this and go here and do this and this and that. And a couple of days later I was like, okay, RJ, I, I yeah. broke it. I broke it. I don't, I don't know what the hell I did. There was something I did. And you're like, Oh, do you have 10 minutes? Sure. We jumped on a video conference, shared the screen. You're like, Oh, well you click here, you do this, you do this. So I'm not suggesting everyone to take advantage of RJ by any means. Take advantage of her <laughs> is that she has so much and, and she is awesome. So guys, highly suggest that. Jump over there. Take advantage of this opportunity. She's been super gracious to us. Uh, she's given us her time, her expertise this morning, and she's willing to give you a little bit more time. So RJ, 
man, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. I when uh you know you got a hold of me i was like well who is this who is this dale maxwell person uh and uh and so i i immediately jumped all over the internet and and looking you know looking for the kick assery and it was like man i i just i watched a show that that made me remember some of the more important things in life um, digital marketing, super important, especially if you're in business, but really there exist other things. And, uh, thank you for reminding me that there is more, wow. more to life and, and so much to appreciate about our fellow human beings. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I'm going to go over there and cry now for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so here's one for you. I think this is very apropos. Yeah. Right there. There you go. Got it. Reach out. Corbley, spend some time. Reach out to her. She'll be able to, at least in that first little bit, she'll at least be able to direct you to get started. And then the rest of it is trial by error, for me at least. Well, and here's, here's the most important thing. You learn at the edge of what you know already. Many chat is created by geeks in California who are super smart. And I love every single one of them. You know what? They're over caffeinated. They turn out more advancements than any other company that I know. They're amazing. But they forget about the folks that are starting from scratch. My job is talking to the people who are starting from scratch. So Corbly, get a hold of me. Uh, we'll we'll have some fun together. I promise technology can be fun. Uh, and anybody else out there who just wants to figure out what these things are, love to explain it to you. I'd love to. All right, guys. Um, so here's the, the next question to RJ. RJ, if we have enough people wanting to know a little bit more about what you do, maybe some more technical info here on Kickassery, if they say, if you say right now, Yes, please. Whether it's live or on the replay, if you say yes, please, RJ. Yes, please, RJ. RJ, will you come back and talk to us again? Oh, I will talk to you anytime, Dale. Yes. Done. Done. Done, done, and done. Okay, guys. RJ, uh, last moment. Anything you want to – last piece of advice. It could be anything. Bots, life, uh, lottery numbers, whatever you want to share. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to refer us back to Andy's question and I'm going to say the first step in deciding if this is right for you is where is your target market looking right now? Uh, for me, my target market is all over the place uh, age wise. Uh, and I have a lot of marketers uh, and a lot of business people, and that's really wonderful. But if your if your market is not on Messenger, Messenger bots won't work for you, no matter how cool that is. So that's the first decision to make. Where are your eyeballs looking? People have a uh, bond with that icon, that little bubble with the blue and then the little lightning strike in it, right? People talk to people that they care about and trust. If you can be a business that they care about and trust, if you can build that no like trust during a conversation and you can edit a PowerPoint, I can teach you how to build a bot. Awesome. Awesome. RJ, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Hang out for just a second. All right, everyone. Um, I, you know what, every time I sit down with people, I learn and I learn and I learn even from people I've known for a very long time, because that's what we do is, is conversations and, and, and sharing. And that's what kick is all about. And I so appreciate RJ for being on here. I appreciate you guys for being on here. Thank you, Andy, for, for great commentary and Corbley and, and Kim and everybody else that was on here. I appreciate you guys so very much. I also have a couple things to ask. So if you're a Gary Vaynerchuk fan here here's my my hook is i need you to share this out please i need you to have commentary in here please you know rj mentioned you know the whole algorithm hacks and things like that well that's what we're doing right now the more you share the more you comment uh the more conversation we have in the comments below 
the more Facebook likes what we're doing here and the more people we can impact, the more we can grow. Uh, I'm looking at growing this very organically. That That's my point here is, is like RJ was saying, is that I want to have conversations and this is one of the ways I can do that. So I really appreciate you guys. Tomorrow we're doing our recap, our week in recap. That's going to have some open seats. So if you want to have a conversation with me directly and talk about what RJ shared with us this week, that's your opportunity. And we're going to talk a little bit more about bots because I'm incorporating that into the show as well. So guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Keep smiling because who knows? Somebody's probably going to need it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.